during the scoring the board sequence that you end up getting a lot of cutoffs. This is when you create scrap. Sometimes it gets thrown away, sometimes you keep it. It's important that you understand which is which. So I have a variety of pieces laid out here, and I'm going to show you where each of them go. These pieces are small, and they're not good for much. I may sort through the trash later and pick some out, but for now, pieces like these go in the trash. These are cutoffs that you usually get during rough cutting. And if they are shorter than five inches, we can't usually use them for many projects. So they go underneath the miter saw in the box to the left. Here's the box to the left underneath the rough cut miter saw that short pieces, pieces that are shorter than five inches long, go. We box these up and sell them for firewood. These are cut off pieces from the table saw. You'll usually find them in the barrel next to the table saws. If they are narrower than two inches, they go underneath the rough cut miter saw in the box to the right. Here's the box to the right underneath the rough cut miter saw. These also get boxed up and sold for firewood. A piece like this is a cut off from the table saw. It's just wide enough to keep, it's two inches. So this should be going in the scrap pile. A piece like this usually is cut off on the rough cut miter saw. It's longer than five inches, so it should go in the scrap pile. This also usually comes from the rough cut miter saw. Maybe you needed only a small part of a board and this was the cut off the end. This would go in the scrap. Anything longer than this would go back on the wood pile. These are our scrap piles. It's important that we keep them organized. We sort them both by species and by length. So make sure you're putting your stuff in the correct place and make sure you're keeping it neat.